Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, I'm Anna Mae. I'm Irish and currently living in New York City. So today's video, I'm starting off, it's like almost, what is it? Almost 6 p.m. Right, um, but I am gonna go do a little bit of thrifting. I went thrifting on the Lower East Side and then a little bit here in Brooklyn. Um, I'm in Williamsburg. Um, maybe a week ago, last weekend, I think. And I did pick up two things. There's a couple of things in particular I'm looking for, not like super specific, but I'm kind of looking for more dresses uh, that'll work through the springtime because I don't have a ton of spring clothes. This is like everything I have with me pretty much here in New York um, and pastel colors. I mean, there's a couple of things, anything with pearls. I mean, it's me. So um, yeah, I'm just kind of on the lookout for a couple different things and I thought I would just hit up a couple of places. It is actually Saturday night. I'm not doing anything tonight. Um, I'm gonna be watching Super Bowl tomorrow, <laughs> um, which will be an experience. I just thought this would be kind of a fun thing to do. Hopefully it's not way too busy. Um, a lot of the places are open until 9 p.m. but one of them closes at seven, which is Crossroads and that is the best one. So I'm gonna bring you with me as best as I can. I think I'm just gonna film on my phone so that it's not too obvious because I'm not sure what the policy is in a lot of these places but I'm pretty sure the places I'm gonna go to are Crossroads Trading Company. I've had very good luck in that place in the past. Um, I'm going to go back to Monk. Is that Monk Vintage? Um, I'll put, I'll like list them down below maybe. Um, they're near the Bedford Avenue area in Williamsburg. I'm also going to go to the Buffalo Exchange. Uh, last time I saw that was kind of overpriced, but I guess I'll see. And then there is an Awoke Vintage, which I feel like is, you know, vintage is a stretch, no offense. Um, but they do have some cute stuff. It's very curated. So I am looking for like a claw clip. So I might be able to find one there. I've seen them there before and they're very cute. So I think those are the, all the places that I'm going to go to. I think because it's later, I'm just gonna check out those. I'll just film a little bit here and there when I'm out if I can. And then when I get back, I will walk you through what I found, if I did find anything. If I didn't, I do have two things to show you that I got before in the Lower East Side, but let's see what Williamsburg has to offer. back as you just saw I went to Crossroads, Buffalo Exchange, Monk Vintage which I don't think I showed the sign for and Awoke Vintage. Now Monk Vintage and Awoke Vintage they do sell some vintage. They're in my opinion they're largely not vintage um, and Awoke is quite expensive for a lot of this stuff but I did not <laughs> get anything in the first few places. I almost got one thing in Crossroads, which was a blouse from Madewell. It was really cute, it was gingham, but it was a size large and knowing Madewell sizing for like tops, even though it's supposed to be oversized, it would be way too big for me because I'm only five foot two. So then I also tried on two dresses in Buffalo Exchange. Buffalo Exchange, in my opinion, is also very overpriced. Um, but one of the dresses was Kate Spade. It was in perfect condition, but it was so many sizes too small. Well. It was a US two, which is like around a UK six. Um, I'm more of a UK like 10, 12. So it did not fit. It did not button over my chest, which was really unfortunate. It was a shirt dress, as you'll see. Um, and I also tried on another dress. I think it was like Ann Taylor or something. Um, the Kate Spade dress was still $40. And then the Ann Taylor one was like 22, which is still, in my opinion, a bit much. Um, but the Ann Taylor one did not look good. It like pushed down my chest way too much. It just looked really boxy and not good. So the only thing I did get this time was a claw clip, which is not vintage or secondhand. Love that. 
um, but it's something I've been eyeing for a while. Let me grab it. Very cute. Um, I got this in a woke vintage. They sell a lot of very cute claw clips and things. What's this material called? Not acrylic, but this stuff. Um, very cute and I've kind of had my eye on them for a while. I did also get something for my best friend back home for her birthday and a card, but I won't show that here. Um, they have a lot of cute stuff, but a lot of it was kind of pricey and just wasn't there for it today. So I guess I'll show you what I got last time I went thrifting, which was in the East Village. There are lots of good places to go there. El Train Vintage. You see, obviously people with the bags and whatever. It is, I think, probably the best place. Um, I got two things and I'm about to wash them like tomorrow morning. I'll show them to you now and then I will try them on once they've been washed. Um, and maybe kind of styled them, but the first thing I got was this is by Pendleton. <laughs> Originally, it's Country Sophisticates, and um, this is definitely like a much older item. And this was I can't remember how much. Oh my gosh, there's like an old tag on this, um, but it was ten dollars, which really was not bad at all because it's in fabulous condition and it's this really cute like midi skirt colors are coming off a bit more blue but it is um like green leaves and everything it's not like a teal um and i really like it i have i tried it on briefly when i thought i was right before i thought i was gonna wash it um and it does fit and i think it'll be cute with a little blouse tucked in if i can get like a i'm looking for like a loose white blouse or white sweater with that and boots will be cute for work and then the other thing i got I'm not sure how much I love, but at the time I just thought it was so funny. It's this sweatshirt and it's one of these corny like sweatshirts. It says Irish, like I know a lot of universities and schools are like the Irish is like a mascot. So it just says Irish on it, but it's like cute and tartan and it has the shamrock. It actually has shamrocks on it as opposed to like four leaf clovers, which you get a lot here. Um, it does have kind of a stain on it, but I'm hoping it'll wash out. This was $8. And the people I was with were like, don't leave it behind. Um, it's really oversized. I think it would be cute with like bike shorts um, and runners or else I'll style it some fun way for St. Patrick's Day. But those were the two things that I got previously. I do think Eltrain Vintage is actually one of the one of the best. It's not overrated in my opinion. So this was just a hopefully quick enough little video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I certainly like thrifting, but it was like hot, not hot, but it's warmer than it's supposed to be. And I'm wearing cashmere, so it was an uncomfortable experience a little bit. Um, but I'm sure I'll be thrifting again before I leave New York. So subscribe to my channel to see when that happens. And follow me on Instagram at Anime by Design. And I will see you in my next video.